I wish you all a very, very happy Christmas. And I know that it's been an unusual one for so many of us. Perhaps for many of us too, it's been a very solitary Christmas because we've been on our own. And for me, it's the most unusual Christmas that I've experienced. Um, this is now my 18th Christmas in Leon C as parish priest, but please don't tell the bishop that it's been so many years that I've been here, and especially don't tell the Vicar General. Now, for many people, Christmas is already over. There was an iconic picture in one of the papers this morning that showed a Christmas tree that had been discarded and thrown out onto the pavement. And for many people, Christmas ends on the 26th of December. But for us, Christmas is only just beginning. We're in this octave, this week now of Christmas, in which we celebrate day by day all those beautiful mysteries of our Lord's life, culminating next week in the Epiphany and in the Baptism of our Lord. I do want to thank you for your many, many prayers and greetings over Christmas. I've received some lovely cards and some lovely sentiments and letters from you expressing such beautiful thoughts which have given me great comfort and great hope at this time. So I do thank you for all of that. Also for your many gifts, for your kindness and also for your very generous Christmas offerings. I was reflecting only yesterday as I was doing some of my correspondence that I've met so many wonderful people since I've been a priest and I can say with great sincerity that were I not a priest I would not have met such wonderful people in my life. So I'm truly grateful for all the beautiful people that have come into my life as a result of being a priest and who have helped me and encouraged me along the way. And I just hope that you'll continue to pray for me and continue to support me as you've done over this last week and over this last nine months. And I thank you also for your generosity and your continued prayers. Well, we're going forward now towards the end of the year and we're facing 2021 with a certain amount of apprehension and uncertainty. But I want to remind you once again that we go into this new year with optimism and with trust in God. So let's pray that the next year will be full of light and hope for us and that the child of Bethlehem will continue to shed his light and life into all areas of our lives, of our society and of our world. So God bless you and in anticipation I wish you all a very happy new year. God bless you.